Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we're going to be playing with a little hourglass. I picked up the re-released but newly formulated because now it is a vegan formula. This is the Hourglass Illum Sheer Color Trio. Hope I pronounced that right. And basically what this is guys is a cream color palette. So you have your bronzer, your blush, and your highlight in this gorgeous little compact right here. This retails for $62 on the Hourglass website, and that is where I picked it up. I know that Hourglass and Ulta just announced that Hourglass will be arriving at Ulta online starting Sunday, so tomorrow. So you're definitely gonna wanna check out the Ulta Beauty website on Sunday morning and see what Hourglass products they're gonna have in stock. I'm not too sure if this is gonna be on there. It might, so that might be a better place for you to pick it up. That way maybe you can use your Ulta points or just earn Ulta points in general. I have never Ever tried an hourglass cream formula I'm wearing an hourglass foundation right now and I am wearing the concealer and that's pretty much the extent of cream hourglass products that I've tried now this palette was released I want to say in 2017 I think it was just a limited edition and they reformulated it so that it is now a vegan formula so I think that's great hourglass is also cruelty free so so we're gonna put this little palette to the test today. I don't have any contour, any bronzer, anything on my face. I didn't even add powder. So I'm gonna do maybe this side just on top of the foundation and then maybe I will add some light translucent powder just because I know some of you out there, um, you do need to set your foundation, your concealer before going in with any other product. So we can do both today and see how it is going to apply. I am gonna insert some swatches that I did. Now these are gonna be indoor swatches, both with and without flash. I wasn't able to do any outdoor natural lighting swatches today, so um, I might post some of that on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, definitely follow me at Steph's Beauty Stash on Instagram. I am very active over there. So if you're always wanting new content, I post a lot over there, so definitely check it out out. But guys, let's go ahead and jump into this cream palette from Hourglass. If you want to see how it's going to perform, keep on watching. All right guys, so all I have right now is foundation and concealer. And of course, my eyes are done. So let me just kind of move my hair over here. So I'm going to start with the right side first. And just for reference, guys, I am 38 years old and I do have a normal to oily skin type. Now, usually when I go in with cream-based products, sometimes I will lightly set it with a, a finishing powder or even a translucent powder or even like a blush and bronzer that are similar in shape shade to the cream products that I am applying. Now, I'll be really honest with you guys, I don't use a lot of cream highlighter. I think, I don't even know that I still, I just did that massive highlighter declutter video where I showed you guys my entire collection, but I think I got rid of almost every single cream or liquid highlighter I have. So this is gonna be new to me just because I don't really reach for it that often. So let's go ahead and start with bronzer. To apply it, I'm gonna be using this little Smashbox brush and this is the Cream Cheek Brush. Now it does say that you can apply this with your fingers, which actually that's what I'm gonna do first. And guys, this is a very creamy, smooth formula. like. Whoa, look at that. But it just feels so buttery, smooth, like a very lightweight formula as well. All right, so let me go ahead and use my brush. That's a nice shade. 
just kind of focusing it right in here. Kind of just blending upwards. That's really pretty. And look at how well it's blending out. Kind of just drag it up here along the temple as well. Wow, oh, it blends out really nicely. All right, now I'm gonna pick up a little bit on the brush and I'm gonna start working that on my forehead. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think it looks really nice. Really easy to blend out and it does give a nice little glow, a luminosity to the skin which I think most cream bronzers do provide. This actually kind of reminds me of the Tower 28 bronzer, the Bronzino. Maybe not as luminous as that one is, but I'll definitely do some comparisons at the end of the video so that you guys have some other options, of course. So I'm gonna do this side completely before I jump over to the left side and I'm just gonna wipe off this brush. I'm gonna use a little bit of the IT Cosmetics brush bath. So let's dip into the blush. What are the shades on here? The bronzer is called, they don't have shades on them. It's just bronzer, blush, and highlighter in case you were wondering. At least that's what it says in the back. Whoa, look at that. This is like a nice, Kind of like a nice mixture between a pink and a peach. Wow, but look at that. That's some nice pigment. Let's go ahead and go ahead and start blending this. This is a beautiful shade though, a really nice neutral shade. And it's gliding on really well on top of the foundation. It's not moving it or anything like that. Okay, I don't want to blend it out too, too much. I want to keep some of the pigment there, but I think it looks really, really nice. Now for the highlighter shade. So, gosh, okay. I'm a little nervous with this one just because I don't really use cream highlighters. I don't know if you'll be able to see the highlight that well just because of the lights. I think that drowns it out, but I can see it from here in the little mirror I'm looking at. It's a subtle highlight. So if that's what you like, that's what you're going to get. Me, I can always go for some bling <laughs> on my highlight. I love a nice intense highlight, but I also like this one. It's it's really natural, like a nice, like healthy glow, you know? And I think that's exactly what this palette is for, just to give you guys like that no makeup, makeup type of look. Um, if that's the kind of makeup you wear, which I think a lot of us are kind of doing that just because we wear masks all day, um, then this actually might be a palette worth investing in. So I forgot to do some contour on my nose. So I'm just gonna pick up some, just, I'm gonna just run it down the side of my nose here. I'm never really per that precise with my nose contour. I just apply bronzer to the sides and a little bit up here at the top. Just to kind of give it some color. Now let me add a little bit of setting powder to the left side and let's see how these are gonna work on top of it. So I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Veil setting powder. And you only need a really small amount of this powder. So I'm just gonna get what was in the cap. This is the rougher brush. This is the number 25 brush. I did review it in the rougher holiday collection brush set video. I'll have that linked up above so you can check it out. All right, so now let's start contouring and bronzing on this side. I really love the shade. It gets really, really pretty. All 
right, so now that we have a nice little bronze and contour going on, I want to try setting this contour with a bronzer, a powder bronzer, and I'm gonna dip into the Hourglass. This is the Ambient uh, Sculpture Mini Edit Palette. I also reviewed this one, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the bronzer shade just wherever I placed the contour. So it's definitely deepening up the look here. I think if you're full on oily, and you still like using, you know, the cream products, which I don't blame you. Cream products just, they just look really nice. Like, they apply really well. Um, I think doing your makeup like this, where you go in with your cream contour, cream bronzer first, and then go in with a powder one on top to lightly set it, I think this will give you some more longevity with it. So now let's dive into the cream blush. Let me wipe off my brush again. So it's going on really well, guys, over the powder products that I have underneath it. So far, so good. Now, the blush that is in the mini edit palette it is a different shade, and let me hold them up so you can see. But it is a different shade than the one that is in the cream palette. So I'm not going to add any of this blush just because I want the um, cream blush to be the one on the cheek. So let me go ahead and go in with the highlighter. Can see the highlighter more on this side. I guess it's just the angle and the lighting maybe than I could on the other side. I don't know how you guys are seeing it. Really pretty. Let me add a little bit right here. A little bit right here. Now you know what? Let me grab a little bit of the highlighter that's in this palette. And let's see how let's see how intense it's gonna get because usually cream products, when you place the powder on top of them, um, that powder is really gonna adhere to it a lot better. It's gonna like intensify it. So you can see it. Yep, this is a pretty you know good highlighter on its own. But I definitely think adding the cream on the bottom, again, just takes it up a few notches. All right, so now that we've tried out this gorgeous hourglass, what is this? A Loom Sheer Color Trio. Let me give you guys my review and then some alternatives in case you're not able to pick up this palette. Now, once again, guys, this palette retails for $62 on the Hourglass website. You do get a nice size compact with a mirror. And of course, you get your three shades. Very neutral, very wearable shades for everyday use. You have your bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And guys, I thought that the formula blended out so well, so beautifully on the skin. You are able to use your fingers with this. However, I prefer just to use a like domed brush. This is the e.l.f. one in case you can't pick up the Smashbox one. This one I think retails for like $32, $34. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. But this little e.l.f. brush retails for $6 and it's actually meant for their putty primer. But I have been using this with what I think is one of my favorite products of 2020 and that is the e.l.f. putty blush. I reviewed seven of the eight shades not too long ago on my channel so I'll definitely have it linked up above so you guys can and check out that video but um guys this brush with these cream blushes works great and I've tried it with other uh, cream based products like contour and other blushes I have in my stash and this is a must-have brush. So now let's jump back to the palette. So this is a $62 face palette you are getting three different shades um, 
Do I think that you need the palette? That all depends. If you like wearing cream-based products, if you go more for the natural or no makeup makeup look, I think this is a nice investment. I think that the shades are definitely wearable for everyday use. However, I think if you're more on the deeper side of skin tones, I don't know how well this is going to work for you. I think medium skin tones can also get away with this palette. However, going deeper than that, I don't think this palette is gonna work. And that's a shame because I know there's like half of the community out there that would love to probably purchase this palette, but unfortunately it's not gonna work for their skin tone. I really do hope that Hourglass looks at their shade range and really tries to improve for 2021 to be all inclusive and to include shades not only in their powder, but their cream formula that's going to flatter all skin tones. So with that said, guys, I think it's a beautiful palette. I actually think it's worth the 62 bucks. I am very, I don't, I'm not surprised that I like it because it's Hourglass. Hourglass makes some really fantastic products, but I actually think I like it better than maybe my mini edit palette. I don't know, I still have to play around with it. This was just a first impressions. I got this in the mail a few hours ago and I knew I wanted to sit down and film with it and just share it with you guys as soon as possible. So as of right now, guys, I can definitely say that this is getting a thumbs up from me. I thought it just blended out beautifully. The shades are really nice, really flattering for my skin tone and I think it performed even a little better than what I was expecting. So I'm really happy that I was able to pick this up. Now, if $62 is not in your budget, don't worry about it, I hear you. Here are some alternatives of maybe some items that you already have in your stash. Now guys, when I first opened up this palette, the shades reminded me of the Laura Geller face palette that I decluttered in my bronzer collection video not too long ago, but I haven't thrown those things out. I know, I know. So let me show you that palette. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I think the BoxyCharm was less than a year ago when I got this palette. This is the Laura Geller Multitasking Eye, Lip, and Cheek Cream to Powder Trio, and this is Shades of Nude. So this is what the Hourglass Illume, Illume, yeah, Illume Sheer Color Trio reminds me of. And they're almost, well, the Hourglass palette is a little bit bigger, but here we go. As far as shades, pretty much identical, right? I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these so we can really see if they are the same. How do I swatch? I See, this is why I don't do swatches on camera because I can never get it in frame. Let me just do it here and then I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is the hourglass one. Now let me go into, okay, the Laura Geller is not as creamy as the hourglass is. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to crop this video, edit it. So this is the Hourglass and that's the Laura Geller. So there is a bit of a shade difference there. Let's do the blushes now. See Hourglass. Oh wow, these are really, really close. So there you can see Hourglass and then Laura Geller at the end. Now let's do the highlighter. So the Laura Geller highlighter feels just as creamy as the Hourglass one does, but there is a bit of a shade difference here. So Hourglass and then Laura Geller. I hope these are coming out. So there are some definite similarities here, guys. If you already have this Laura Geller palette from your BoxyCharm, then you might not feel the need to go out and spend $62 on the Hourglass palette, but I'll leave it up to you. I did enjoy this Laura Geller palette, and the only reason I'm discarding it, which actually maybe I won't now, I might save it for some dupes later on, but it's just because I never reached for it. Now guys, I also wanna show you one of the e.l.f. putty blushes, which I think could be a good dupe for the blush that is in this Hourglass cream palette. And this one is in the shade Bahamas. So this is the shade Bahamas from the e.l.f. Putty Blush line. And then let me do the Hourglass. Now the Hourglass is definitely a bit more creamy. 
super similar. And guys, these little e.l.f. putty blushes retail for $6. Ulta is slowly getting in more of the, the shades. I think right now they only have one shade available. I'm not too sure which shade it is. It could be Bahamas. I'm not too sure. I knew it was more of a, a neutral shade. And this is actually one of the more neutral shades in the collection. But they are definitely worth picking up. I know the full range is available on the e.l.f. website. So I would just head over there and pick up one, two all eight they're definitely worth it they last all day they just they blend out so well i can't say enough good things about these elf putty blushes um i also wanted to show you guys the tower 28 bronzino because as i was applying the bronzer that is in this hourglass palette kind of reminded me of this bronzino and this is a really pretty bronzer um but again you have to like that luminosity to your bronzer so let me place that one right here Here's Tower 28 Bronzino. So you can definitely see that it has that luminous effect to it. Now let me do the Hourglass next to it. And there you can see the Hourglass. So the Hourglass definitely has some more pigment to it. I think the shade is a little bit deeper than the Tower 28 is. But they did look really similar on the skin. That's what I thought. And you can find this Tower 28 Bronzino on the Sephora website. It retails for $20. But I'll have all of these products linked in the description box down below, guys, in case you want to pick up any of them. Some of them might be affiliate links. So if you end up purchasing, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. All right, guys. So my arm is all swatched out. Um, what did you think, guys, of these alternatives? What did you think of the hour? Glass Loom Sheer Color Trio. Is it on your list? Did you even know it came out? Again, this is a re release of their 2017 palette, except this new formula is now vegan. It blends out like a dream. It's very creamy, very smooth. It did work well on top of powder, and you are getting those three everyday wearable shades. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, guys, then I don't think you'll be disappointed with this hourglass palette as always guys I want to thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos and welcome to all of my new subscribers thank you all so much for being here you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water and I will see you all very soon bye